So hello, today we are heading into Wales to stay at this pretty amazing campsite. We check out the wonderful Brecon Beacon, Beacons and the Welsh scenery. And we also step back in time and go on a real nice steam train ride in the mountains. So enjoy the journey with us. Quick, get the list to show mummy. You hold your list and I'll hold my list. Set, set on my knee again. So this is everything. This is my do. list. And this is my list. Yeah. So we're gonna start now. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna get our haircuts. That's on daddy's list. This is my list again. And there's Max's list. You hold it the wrong way around, darling. Yeah. Turn it around. Turn it around. I think it shows it all. Oh, in that's, that's just from Daddy's work. Okay, so we're going to go and get our hair cut. We've got to do shopping. We've got to clean the camper van. Everything we have to do. to do. Yeah, to do. Yeah, to do. Bye. 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 So morning. it is the morning. what's the date? Fifteenth. Morning. Is it the fifteenth? Sixteenth. Morning. Friday morning. in August, morning. and we are going to Brecon Beacons, Wales, in Wales. Sixteenth. For three nights. It's the sixteenth. Brecon Beacons for three nights in the rain in the camper van. But it's van. not raining now, which is it's good. It's not raining now. No. Okay, they so let's go. They can. They can. They can, Max. They can see it, darling. Wave him. Pass them to me and I'll show them to you. Everyone, this is. This is Beaver Weaver. Beaver Weaver. Hello. Beaver I'm Weaver, looking forward to going to Wales in the rain and I love to eat leeks. He said Beaver Weaver. Beaver Weaver. Beaver Weaver. So, um, Beaver Weaver. Type cut, not type casting. Well, he said Beaver Weaver. Speaking Everyone in Wales eat leaks apparently. Okay, we'll see you there. Bye. Started to see some good scenery as we set off. The weather didn't look that great though, unfortunately. And it's lunchtime. Then put in her hot drink cup, couldn't you, Mummy? I could do. Are you eating your lunch, Max? Our neighbours for lunch, but at least we're in the dry and they're in the wet. Four hours. 
still got over two to go. The traffic is really bad. It's raining. Slow start to the camping trip. All pull, all pull a disappointed face. We are going to be there by five o'clock, hopefully. I'm happy, and I'm not a disappointed face. Let's look. Where's your happy face? Right, that's it. Cool. Where's our poo? Where's See you soon. Lady? See you soon. Hey, at last we've made it to Wales. Welcome to Wales. Korea. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it in Welsh. The rain is still with us, but we're nearly there. Five hours, six hours, and we're nearly there. Our pitch looking good. It's now time to put up the awning. Family affair. So we've got set up and we've now gone for a quick walk around to check out the facilities. I normally do a quick video or a few pictures just to keep track of where we go and what the facilities are like and you know what these are these are pretty good. Summertime. We've set up, we all got soaking wet, and we're off to the pub, which I think is the only thing we can do on a night like tonight, honey, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Nice little family pub with an accordion player. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasant place to spend a couple of hours. At last the clouds are clearing and it should be a pleasant evening here in Wales so good night and we shall see you in the morning. And a good morning to everybody. It is the 17th of August and we have woken up to a beautiful day in Wales so it's now time to go and do some exploring. Wales and I hope you have a good breakfast. Did you have a shower? Okay. Back you to your... Daddy. Are you going now, are you? Mind the tea. Okay, so we are at Penselli. Is it Penselli? Penselli. Penselli campsite. Uh, Near Max the Bracken Beacons. You've gone to do the bacon. Near the Bracken Beacons. In, in the Bracken Beacons. In the Bracken Beacons. It's Saturday. It's trying to be a nice day. It's better weather than it was yesterday, that's for sure. Um, what else? Oh, we've woken up. We've just woken up and we are. So far, I've banged my head on the back of the camper van and I got my hair caught in the, the blind. blind. So I'm not having a great morning. But, you know. We're going to do a nice breakfast. Here you go, Max. Richard's nice breakfast. offered to cook the bacon. And egg and bacon I'm having. Oh. Um, and today we're going to go on the train. Uh, what's the train called? Uh, the Bracken Railway or Steam Train. Or... No, back to Mummy. Back to Mummy. Oh, you 
He's director. He's trying to direct. Okay, so we're going to do breakfast. We're having a cup of tea. Um, and I'll leave you to mummy to finish off. Okay. So, yes. Uh, we're going to go and have showers in a bit, but I think Richard said he has, I said he's going to cook the breakfast first of all for us. And then we're going to have showers. The showers are really nice here. The bathroom's nice. It all looks really good. Nice and clean. It's a pretty campsite. They've got a play park here. But whether everything will be too wet for Max to play on after yesterday, we'll have to go and see. We might have to like wipe it down. Um, so yeah, so we're off out for the day and then we found something to do tomorrow that involves caves and dinosaurs. Um, so anyway, have a good day. We'll come back to you later. Bye. Mm, bacon smells good. Where are we going today, Max? Chase, 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 Chase,
Let's have a listen to that good old steam sound coming out of this fantastic engine. It's a great way to be able to see the beautiful Welsh countryside from this mountain railway so I'd definitely recommend it if you're in the area. Lovely stops by the lake, the lovely visiting through the lake, beautiful scenery, sit on the left of the coach you get the better views then and you are allowed out of the balcony um, as long as the gates stay closed the conductor says so because of maintenance we're only going as far as Dolly Gare where we stopped for half an hour at Ponce de Sil again probably perfect pronunciation nice lake to look at which we're going to go and check out now So we're now back at the station and they've even taken the time to put together this decent little model railway which is, um, which is pretty cool, it just shows um, just some of the trains going round and yeah, worth a few minutes of your time. Of course you also have the customary gift shop which is always worth a little browse around. There's no shortage of books if you want to learn more about the trains. So we've left the Brecon Mountain Railway now and we're making a few stops on our way back to the campsite because the scenery is well worth the time as you'll see so enjoy these few clips that we've taken of the beautiful Brecon Beacons.
Yeah, they don't seem as excited in us as, as we are seeing them, so perhaps another day. so if you do come to this area you've got to look out for the wildlife um, we've got the sheep coming up here whoa look out sheep on the motorbike man be careful drive slowly look out for all the wildlife on the roads in this area please So yes, it's pretty windy up here where we are. So a quick, quick couple of points. We've taken a short detour up into the mountains to enjoy the scenery. Just down there is the road that we were on, um, and now we are up here to to check out the scenery before we head back to the campsite. And we are now. About to go back to the campsite, a few more photo stops, beautiful scenery around everywhere, which we'll show you from the other videos that I've taken. And we've had a good day, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Mummy's gonna go rolling down the hill. <laughs> Max is coming for a hug, group hug. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my god, no, <laughs> I'm scared. Yep, look out for the wildlife, but while you're here, enjoy the really beautiful, beautiful scenery. Enjoy. The reservoir that you can see in the distance there I believe is Cantref Reservoir and it is the middle of three reservoirs in the Taff 4 Valley and I am pretty sure I've pronounced all that totally wrong. And this is the same reservoir just a little bit closer up and I'm not going to try and pronounce it again. Beautiful. in the camper van and stand by for some serious colouring. I need daddy. I can hear it too. Sounds like a little doggy, doesn't it? Doesn't it, mummy? Mm -hmm. You may wonder why we're colouring upside down, but... Because, because we wanted to colour upside down because I'm going to do it on that side because it's on that side. Yeah. It's all complicated stuff, this art, isn't it? Yes, a bit of complicated. A bit complicated. We just swap sides now. We have swap sides again. Let's put the end of the other one we done. Um, the other one. What are we colouring in, Max? We're colouring a camper van, but it's the other way round now. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. This was my side, and now this is my side, and that's my side now. We've got a lot of colouring to do, haven't we? We've yeah. done a lot, and we've still got lots to do. Yeah, because it's a complicated one again. It's really complicated.